But it is a great day. It is a, it's a fun day. It's, it's, it's uh, fun to look across that uh, uh, audience and across that audience and see so many of you that uh, um, have been supporters of, of hopes and, and mine and, and of Texas for, for all these years. And um, it, it, it's a great day, mostly from my perspective, that we've been able to keep Hope Andrade in the uh, public sector. <laughs> the, I know for a fact that the private sector would love to have had her, and, uh, but we were fortunate to, to convince her to take uh, that office down on the first floor and uh, represent our state. Um, and, and Hope's been doing that for uh, a lot of years, and, and uh, um, both as a public sector servant and as a private sector job creator and an innovator. And, um, she's been a great champion for San Antonio and, and uh, she's been a passionate advocate for all that Texas has to, to offer. And she's just got this great and remarkable life story and I know that thanks to Zavala uh, School for being here, her, her school and and, and the message for each one of you, uh, and particularly the Latinas in the audience, is that, that, that study hard and no dream is too far for you to attain. Uh, she's a role model for young Texans. And I might add the ideal choice for Secretary of State. She gets things done. When she looks at a situation, she doesn't get intimidated by the roadblocks, but she sees the opportunity to get to the other side. Then she surrounds herself with people who share her vision, her work ethic, her can-do spirit. Over the course of her life, she's pursued those opportunities and she's been remarkably successful. I'm pleased that a leader with her extensive track record would agree to serve our state in the role that she's been offered. When she sits down across the aisle from business leaders or also from uh, our diplomatic corps, from leaders of foreign nations, I'm pleased that they will be sitting down with a person who understands that the economy in the great state of Texas is driven by private sector entrepreneurs who've been given the opportunity to be freed from bureaucratic red tape, from overtaxation, overregulation. And she knows that story to share it with people from around the globe who are looking for that opportunity. And we obviously, Bishop, want them to move to Texas uh, to. Uh, to expand their businesses here, to learn what we know, that this is the greatest state in the nation to do business and to live and to raise a family. When the conversations move to a transportation system, Judge, she will not only be able to understand, or I should say they will not only be able to understand her from a business standpoint, but from a person who has a deep understanding of how and why transportation and that infrastructure is so important to the state of Texas because for four years she was on that transportation commissioner and part of that time as the chairman. When she meets the diplomats from other countries, she will be able to apply her warm personality her direct manner of speaking and her experience as an ambassador of goodwill to San Antonio. And as a token of her additional capability, she may bring my man Diego along with her just to uh, express a little bit more of her grandmother's charm. Diego, thank you for being here today and for leading our pledges. Um, 
I wouldn't be surprised if I see you up here today, some, or where I am today and someday in the future, either as a secretary of state or a governor. Or study hard. <laughs> She's going to, Bishop, as you made reference to, maintain our electoral process, the fair elections. And she's driven by heartfelt understanding of the importance of each and every vote. Because see, she understands that people like Romero put their life on the line, in his case in Vietnam, to defend that right to vote and how precious it is and how important it is to each and every Texan. In short, I've got the confidence that Hope Andrade will not only represent our state in a powerful and a exquisite and a charming way, but she will inspire generations of Texans to come. She will ensure the fairness of our elections. Madam Secretary, it is an honor to be here with you today, to have you on our team, and it is a privilege for me to take part in today's ceremony. I wish you the best. I pledge to you my support as we work to continue our state's strong run of economic success and electoral fairness. So I want to say God bless you uh, as an individual and as a family and certainly May God continue to bless, through you, the great state of Texas. Thank you. And now it's my honor to be able to administer the oath of office to uh, the 107th Secretary of State, Hope Andrade. Let's see. Esperanza Andrade. I, Esperanza Andrade. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duties. That I will faithfully execute the duties. Of the office of Secretary of State. Of the office of Secretary of State. Of the State of Texas. Of the State of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Welcome aboard. <laughs>